Audio Jungle. Hello everyone, this is Dipto from Graphic2. Welcome to add a Photoshop tutorial. As you know Logan Paul, who is a famous YouTube blogger, today I am going to talk about technique of create YouTube thumbnail like Logan Paul. Yes, something interesting for YouTube bloggers. To make your thumbnail, watch this video. So drag and drop photo from your PC. Here we are at Photoshop. I am going to show you both the tools, pen tool and polygonal laser tool. To make selection, create pointer around your photo. Create point very smoothly. It is very easy to use polygonal laser tool. Here one more thing I want to add that if you want to select a wrong area then how you can go back. As you can see I'm select a wrong area inside the main picture but when you are click delete then a one pointer is back. As you can see it's removed, it's removing, yes. And then you select the right area, then click the right pointer around your picture. It's very easy to select, guys. We have to practice more and more for the perfection. Yes, after select the whole area, go back to your starting point and just double click on it. And as you can see, the whole thing is selected. Now open your layer, duplicate it, and just press Ctrl plus J. And you can, as you can see, it's copy and for another copies, just press Alter and just drag. As you can see, the copy is here. You can make many copies to press on Alter and just drag your image. It's very cool. Now, so go back and just press Ctrl J for one time. Click on FX on the bottom of your layer. Click on stroke and then select your color. Then select the outer glow. Here you can choose your color from here. And then I want to change the color. Raise your speed and size. Okay, then press OK. So you can see this road is already mixing with this image. Now I'm going to show you the, how to use the pen tool. Pen tool is basically a big tool to use, so you have to use it carefully. Who the guy use pen tool? I can't show pen tool work within this tutorial. So who the guy can use pen tool? He can use to doing this work. You just create path, path, and path around your images.
Now I'm going to add some gradient. So create a new layer and apply a gradient. and then reduce the opacity so that we can see the background and also the fill. After that I am going to give some drop shadow. Select the drop shadow. Both the images. Here as you can see the drop shadow is applied also doing the same thing with another picture and drag it to the top layer here it seems will be quite similar with Logan Paul blog as you can see now I'm going to add some text which is related with your video title drag it to the top layer and place it add some stroke and drop shadow So that it can look like a presentable and create some focus. Create duplicate, that's why the layer style is the same. Just reduce the image text size. That's all. And also edit your image. Go adjustment and edit level of your images so that color contrast are adjusted. Yeah, now it's ready to publish. So save it as a JPEG mode. Let's see how it's look like. Thanks for watching our video. Hopefully you like it. Grab a huge amount of audience to your blog. All the best. Stay with us. Audio channel.